Hi, Vanessa DeBrulay here, where I show you how to turn your passions into profits. And today we're going to talk about what do you do now that you're monetized? There are some things that you need to make sure that you click inside your YouTube channel. So we're going to go over that. And then I'm going to show you what you need to pay attention to as you're monetized, like what videos are making more money than others. And it's not just about the views. I think most of us have been led to believe that the more views I get, the better. Views are good. That's not what I'm saying, but it also, some there are some other algorithms that matter, and I'm going to go over that today. So there's about five different tips in here um, you definitely want to be aware of if you're working towards getting monetized or if you're already monetized. All right, let's dig in. Okay, the first thing I want to go over is when you go in to upload a video, you're going to have a new little tab here at the top. It says monetization, and what you want to make sure you do when you're going through your uploading process is select this right here and say, yes, I want to be monetized. If you don't, even though you upload that video, it's not going to be monetized. So make sure you click that as you're um, uploading. Now, if your video is eight minutes or more, you're going to have some more choices down here at the bottom. I don't know if this video was eight minutes, but let me go ahead up there and hit that monetization. We're going to hit yes, and we're going to select done. And let's move down. And this one is over eight minutes and you have an option to turn some of these off or leave them on. So there's all different ads that can be displayed on your video. Um, just go through and mark the ones you want or you don't want. Um, if you're over eight minutes, you have the option to mat have mid rolls in there. You can also have the option to take them out. If you don't like people to be interrupted and have that, if that's irritating to you, you feel like it's irritating to your audience, then uncheck that. So that's tip number one. Now, what about all the other videos that you've already uploaded? Will they make money? Absolutely. I did not know. I was uh, misinformed when I first started. I thought that anything that was under that eight minute mark did not get monetized because in the beginning, I made a lot of one minute and two minute videos just to get myself used to making videos. All of them are monetized, but you have to go in and select. Notice here next to visibility, there is a monetization little tag here you can select whether or not you want your video to be monetized or not so just hit that down arrow and select on or off now when you first open up your channel i had the option to go through and hit one button and i could say i want all my videos monetized and i said yes let's talk about how you make money i want to go to channel analytics all right my, my channel analytics right now is set up for 28 days and you can see here's all my information one of the things i love to track is vidiq it's up here i can check how many people are watching my video how what my view average is and everything with a click and it's always up here even if i'm in youtube looking at other people's channels i personally just love having that there now youtube off, also offers real time here okay on the left and what I want to show you, this is just the last 48 hours, okay, of what has been viewed on my channel. Now we're going to go to the top one. Um, it's a social media planner. I'm going to click that. And I want to show you how much money I'm making on this video. This video has gotten 10,000 views since it was posted. Now I want to show you something. It did not really start picking up until after 95 days. So one of the things I want to tell you, do not be discouraged if you upload a video and it only has like 30 views or 40 views and it's been a month. I have a lot of videos that do that. I'm still a small channel, but don't think that just because it's not getting a lot of views out of the gate that it won't make views later. This video just started picking up after about 190 days. That's like six months. It got 3000. And now after 570 days, I'm up to 10,000. And I've made $385 just on this video. And this video was posted, what is the date? I think it's like in 2019. So it's almost two, here it is, August 14th, 2019. So it's a good year and a half old as of today, and it's gotten 133 subscribers. I want to go over here and click revenue. This is what you really want to pay attention to. The CPM is $87. What is the CPM? That's the cost that the person Placing the ad pays for every thousand views. You want this RP or CPM to be high, which is going to cause the RPM to be high. Typically, the RPM is about 45%, 40 to 45% of the CPM. This is what you earn 
on those thousand views. So yes, views are good. Every thousand views, I'm making $37. But here, watch this. I'm gonna go to the next video. Here it says how to feature other channels. Let's go look at the same, uh, same let's go look at the same analytics. This one has 4,000 views, that's great. A thousand, a thousand, a thousand, that's where you make money. But look, I've made $19 on this one. Let's go over and look at that revenue. That's what you wanna be looking at. This CPM is $11. To put an ad on that video, the ad people are paying $11 for a thousand views. It's a good deal. And I'm only making 487. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying, I'm only making 487, where on the last one, I was making 37. So you see the difference? It depends on what that RPM is. And now let's look at one more. This one, I I get a lot of, it's, um, is your YouTube channel verified? Let's go over and look at it. This one, I get a lot of views and I really didn't start getting them till close to a year. Look at this, it was just flatlined forever. And I was, it's funny because I go through my videos. It's something's been sitting around for a year, year and a half, and there's no views and there's no money being made. Sometimes I will unlist them just to kind of take them up um, out of my, out of my playlist and, and just clean it up a little bit. And this one, let's go to the revenue on this. $6 and 30 cents and two sixty three. These are the two I really want you to pay attention to. I have made on this one with 7,000 views and that's pretty good. I've only made $18. So it's not very much where this video that has 10,000 views, just a little bit more, I've already made $385. So do you see, sometimes you'll hear people saying, I've got like a million views. Okay, a million views, but what is the RPM? I always wanna ask that. I always wanna dig in and look at other people's videos on their channels and say, but how much money are they making? I have talked to other people that I've collaborated with and some I have know people that have 30,000 subscribers and they're only making about $100 a month. I have 3,000 subscribers and I'm making a solid average of two to $300 a month. And the difference is who are placing the ads on your video. Now, I wanna show you one more thing before you go. That's gonna, I think, um, is important. I have made an Excel sheet and I've literally, I put this in front of me. I know the YouTube channel has this where you can hit buttons and see all this, but I have literally um, made um, what I call my analytics spreadsheet. I got monetized just a year ago. And what I started doing is paying attention to the views, the watch time, my subs, how much I got paid that much. What are the total subs? What are, are my average views? And that's what I get off of vidIQ. I just kind of watch it all month long. Right now in February is, um, I made this video in February or March. I'm making it March, but my analytics are in February and I'm getting a good 500 to 600 views every two days, okay? And I'm watching that on that vidIQ that I showed you. At the end of the month, I go in and look at what is my RPM? What is my CPM? What is my view dur duration? Now you gotta remember, I got a lot of short videos in there and it really affects my average view duration. So that's why I'm going back and looking. Do I really want those short videos sitting there if they're not getting watched? I pay attention to my click-through rate. I want that to keep getting higher. Um, now I'm starting to watch where's my traffic source coming from. This one is YouTube search. Uh, the next one is suggested, and then there's external. And I wanna pay attention to which kind of search is gonna make me more money. And, and you just keep going into your analytics and watching these things. So I've been tracking all of this and it really helps when sometimes you might get discouraged and think, gosh, you know, look way back here. I, I started out making $68 and then it took me, gosh, all the way till September to break 200. And you can start getting discouraged because you see these people that make videos and they say, I've made, I watched a video the other day and somebody said, I made $70,000 this year on YouTube. And that's what we all want to do. We want to make a lot of money with ad revenue, but it can get discouraging. So this keeping track of everything has really kept me motivated because I'll go, wait, look where you were just a year ago. Look where you're, look how you're growing. Look how you're getting better. So I want to highly recommend that you hit my link below. I've got this on a Google Doc. So I want you to see that it's not always just 
the views. It's everything. You want all of it to come together. And the biggest thing you want to watch is when you go in to see those videos in your analytics, you want to go in and see which videos are making you the most money and what are those topics and where are, this, where are the views coming from. Congratulations for those of you that are monetized. It is so exciting. It's so motivating. I wish you the best of luck. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below and I am happy to answer. And if I don't know the answer, I am happy to go find the answer for you. Don't forget to subscribe, learn how to turn your passions into profits. Now that you've got your channel started, now you wanna start looking at your, your algorithms and things like that. You're starting to become a pro. There's always a lot to learn. And again, congratulations and I'll see you on the next one.